doing today? It is time to play Pokemon Emerald. We are doing a Nuzlocke challenge of this game. We uh, finished our Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke, so obviously we just had to move on to the next generation. Um, it took me a while, I was thinking should I do Ruby, should I do Sapphire, and I eventually decided I would just do uh, Emerald. Cause yeah, I love Pokemon Emerald, man. It's a very, very cool game. Like, um, I mean, obviously it's the same game, it just has, like, more stuff in it. So, it'll be a little bit longer than, uh, the other one was. Or, uh, than the other ones would be. But, I'm okay with that. Yo, are my buttons set? I think my buttons <laughs> might not be set. The, uh, yeah, no, they're not. Alright, A, B, L, R, select start. Um, no speed up button, please. No, 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 clear that. How do I... Hmm. Oh, the escape key will just be the speed up key. <laughs> That'll have to do. Yo, how we doing, everybody? Alright, let's see. Options. Um, tech speed fast. Battle scene on. Battle style. I think I'll do set this time. We did shift when we were doing Pokemon Gold. I'm curious about how set will go. It could end up being bad. It could be good. We'll see. Oh, and frames. I get to choose my frame. Um... But, wow, there is a lot of frame options in this one. Um, I'm kind of partial to like the really colorful one, I like the one with the Pokeballs, uh, I like this floral one. Hmm. Decisions. Oh, that one's kind of cool. <laughs> and yo, Super Sin Slayer and Bobbin in here. How are we doing? This doesn't look like Pokemon Gold. No, we beat Gold, man. We beat Gold. It is all over. Oh right, yeah, I'm going to go for the colorful one. Let's do that. Alright, and uh, let's do it. New game. Alright, so everything's working, right? <laughs> good stuff, yo. Gotta do the good stuff, man. Got so. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Oh, hey, uh, chat's actually showing up. Chat's not been doing that for a while. Hold up. Hold up, I think my alerts are actually on today. Let's see, let's turn the chat border on. And move the uh, bits cup since it actually like works, I guess. We'll put it on top of the uh, chat. Yo, nice, welcome back. It's been a while since I've had my uh, chat in the stream. Uh, did I ever hear about the Xanadu Spring and Arcadian? Yeah, I saw someone tweeting about uh, winning it and it wasn't you that tweeted that. So I don't know who that was though. It was somebody. I saw someone saying they got first and someone they got that got third. So for all I know, you got second place. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. The humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And yo, uh, Blood Sand, don't worry. Got what uh, version it is. It's going to be red either way. <laughs> yo, yo, it's not a speedrun. This is a Nuzlocke. And none of my Pokemon will die. Definitely not. Oh, you got four Super Sense Slayer? Yo, that's still really good, man. Congrats on that. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokémon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokémon. Unravel Pokémon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Oh, yep, that's me! Alright, what's your name? Um... Hmm... I guess I'll just go with the good old Vinx. Nothing crazy. I was thinking about naming myself something else for a second, but nah. For the simplicity of it, I'm just gonna name myself Vinx. Ah, uh, okay. You're Vinx, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, so are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Yo, Tensocker saying third gen best gen. Oh, I didn't realize you were a third generation fan. Up oh, and the get gut, I forgot to turn my bot on. Always gotta forget something. Oh, oops, don't mind that. Button's OP. Alright, uh. Are you on now? It might be on. Wait, nope, almost. Oh, yeah, I forgot to reset the uh, get goods. Give me one second. Oh yeah, speaking of which, while I'm right here, guys, which starter should I choose? Last time I was just choosing my starter myself, 
but I think it'd be more fun if I let chat choose my starter. So should I do Torchic, Mudkip, or Trico? What do you guys think? And yeah, Zuper 2 bot is now good. Thanks for here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little, Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, thanks. Let's go inside. <laughs> you heard I like mudkips? I do like mudkips. You know, you have a cute stuff, Torchic? Yo, yeah, Torchic's where it's at, man. See, Vinx? Isn't it nice here, too? Mudkip is too meme lord. So, is that is that a minus one for mudkip or a plus one? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Vinx, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. And yo, a pain saying heard you like mudkips. Yo, the memes are real. Oh, I got a GameCube. The Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. That doesn't look like a Game Boy Advance. That looks like a GameCube controller. Like, I can see the C-Stick and everything in the big green button. For A? Hmm, liars. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Uh, what time is it? Choose Nidoran, <laughs> you're right! Okay, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven! <laughs> um, so that would be, what, 7.15? Yep. Uh, it, let's see, Tinsocker is a tier two sub. Clearly my vote matters more. <laughs> Yo, you got the super trolling mode, and you have Valiant's in here! How you doing, Valiant? Yo, Valian, if you didn't hear, I need to know who I need to choose as my starter. I think we have, what, at least two votes for Mudkip and one for Torchic. Thanks. how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Is she telling me to get the potion out of my PC? Yeah, she is. Yes, like Pokemon Red. Oh, thanks, thanks! Quick, come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym! Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. And, uh, let's see, Payne says, Not many games use the GBA compatibility. Maybe Colosseum for the 3D Pokemans battle? Yo, yeah, got to. Hell no. Gotta look out for those scary Pokemon in the wild. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Chronicle, or Tactics Chronicles. Final Fantasy Chronicles used the GBA, and so did, um, Pac-Man Versus. Those were two games I personally played. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Vanks. Our new next door neighbor, hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. The daughter is upstairs, I think. Alright. How you doing, neighbor? I, I don't see a neighbor. Huh? Wh who are you? Oh, you're Vanks, sir, moveless today? Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Vanks. From my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Vinks. And that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, Vinks. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to go help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Vinks, I'll catch you later. Well, she's got a yellow GameCube. Pokemon fully restored, items ready, and... Well, she's busy. There's, uh, such a tiny chance of me getting a Ralts. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Ralts is, a uh, pretty small chance. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? Sure. Help me. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Alright, final chances, guys. Trico, Mudkip, or Torchic. What are we doing, man? And yeah, Pain, I'm not sure if you know, this is a Nuzlocke playthrough. But we can only get the first Pokemon we encounter in a route. 
Alright, I don't think anybody cares. Okay, I see Torchic. Going with Torchic in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Wait, up, uh, up, uh, Trico? Trico? Clearly, Trico has no one voted for him. Trico it is. Here we go. I don't normally use the grass starter. <laughs> Yo, EWF Nor with the host. Yo, let's go. No, thanks for the host, EWF Nor. Much appreciation. Uh, yeah, I'll just use Pound. You don't need the Leer. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Since Octor's vote doesn't matter. Yo, you got outvoted, my friends. <laughs> Last minute votes for the win. Oh, Torchic? Yeah, Torchic is a good choice. Ooh. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Save me, thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Vanks. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, Vix, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a pomp? I don't know what that word is. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. <laughs> oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Thanks, receive the Trico. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Alright. Uh, what am I gonna name the Trico, guys? Help me out here. And, uh, Super Sin Slayer says, Thanks now has a Pokemon that will eventually become a Pokken Fighter. Yeah, don't, um... Yeah, both Trico and, uh, Torchic, they're both in, uh, Pokken, right? As, uh, Skeptile and Blaziken? I don't think Marsh Stomp, or Swampert's in there, I mean. <laughs> name of Plum? So clearly what Elm thinks its name is. How do you say that? Is it a plum? I don't know this word. A <laughs> tree co as in the company? That's a good one. I'll go I'll go with a plum for this one. But tree co's a good one too. If you work I'm not naming it butts, that's a dumb name. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Thanks, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see me? Uh, not really. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. I don't really want to. Oh, don't be that way. Yeah, I'm on. Ah, I hit down. It just didn't go through. Great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Man, I'm the champion of the Johto region. I don't need her to tell me anything. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying. Let's suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Birch spend time at home? Got me. And yo, D says, I heard you like mudkips, what? <laughs> yo, how you doing, Dees? And uh, let's see, aplomb. Uh, imperturbable self-possession, poise, or assurance. Interesting. And that reminds me, actually. Um, my controller's about to die. <laughs> I am going to find a plug for that. Give me two seconds, but how you doing, Dees? What's up? There we go, much better. Alright, so if you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering! Imperturb for the next Pokemans? Yo, imperturbable. Or does Aplomb evolve into... <laughs> into that? Uh, I should have named it Mudkip to meme all the game, you're right. Oh, Pokemon will jump out you. Jump out at you in the grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. He says, Vanks, my emotes are almost done. I'm so happy. Yo, that's awesome, man. You're making your own emotes? Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Uh-oh, it's a Pochina. And again, this Pochina does not count towards the Nuzlocke, because I don't have any Pokeballs yet, I believe, right? Yeah, no Pokeballs. Nothing happening. But yeah, man. Gotta be all about those emotes. Yeah, I'm very happy with the three that I have currently. I mean, obviously, you know, one's like a phrase and the other two are like actual like emotions. Like facial emotions, I guess. But, I don't know, I like all my emotes. I think they're pretty cool. I commissioned the second and third one and one of my viewers made the first one. Which was my only emote for the longest time. 
Oh, you're getting a friend to make them? That's cool. In Pokemon Battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. The Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to go farther away from here. That makes sense. <laughs> Thanks for reminding himself to get good. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, uh, name it M. Name each Pokemon the following letter until it's Team Mudkip. <laughs> and yo, Legend's in here. How are we doing, Legend? He's got the Piplop emote. The PC in the corner there is used for any Pokemon trick. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it, too. The Pokemon Wireless Club on the second floor was built recently. They say they're still making adjustments. Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like and it's all for free. You never have to worry. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your Pokemon. Yeah, 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 I've heard it before. And yo, Invisu! How you doing, good sir? <laughs> I should name one of my Pokemon 7.5 out of 10. And now they're too much water. Yo, the memes are so real for this game, huh? It's the old Dale Town. Her things start off scarce. Well, that doesn't sound too good. What's he doing over here? Yeah. Ah, wait! Please don't come in here! I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokémon! Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Fine, jeez. And, uh, Invisus is kind of shiny Kyogre? Or is it? Yeah, I think it's pronounced Kyogre. Uh, again today, in a shiny Whelmer in your backyard, so yay? <laughs> Yo, man! Yo, what's up with all the shinies? I can't- like, everybody's just getting shinies in Pokemon Quest. I have yet to get a single shiny in Pokemon Quest. I don't know... I don't know how people are getting all these shinies, man, but I just don't live that life. When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes out first. When you get more Pokemon, try switching the order! It could give you an advantage, really. Super no shiny you? Yeah, I don't live that shiny life, man. Yo, can I buy Pokeballs? Welcome, how may I serve ya? Nope. You wish. Yeah, we're not buying any potions. Throw a Pokeball at him? <laughs> That's a good idea. He says that feeling when you've got more shinies in Pokemon Quest than you found in the wild. Yo, man. I would take a shiny in Quest. I'd be down, but I don't have any shinies. Like, uh, the only shiny Pokemon I've ever caught in my career of po Pokemon playing in the past two decades has been the shiny Gyarados in gold, which, you know, obviously doesn't count because it's a set shiny. And then, um, uh, a shiny Wizmer in Sapphire, but I accidentally deleted it. Well, it wasn't an accident. I just didn't know it was a shiny, so I never thought to try to preserve it. It's like, ah, I'll just catch another Wismer. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure I can beat it, right? At level 6? I'm not, I'm not losing. I'm not losing the Nuzlocke at the very beginning. I'll take level 7 and then I'll go in. It'll be a free fight. I like free fights. I don't like even fights. Or near even. I like completely free. <laughs> Shiny Gyarados doesn't count? It really doesn't. And uh, Invisa says there's a water event uh, right now, so Shiny Kyogre has increased odds. So it is wild water types? Oh man. Why doesn't, like, uh, that's not a thing in a normal Pokemon. I wish it was. I'd be cool with that. I mean, you can get the Shiny Charm, but that requires a lot of Pokemon catching. You know, Glackham's saying, good luck, buddo. And Vince, have you considered making the blue bar on your split transparent? Um, not really. I mean, I could if I wanted to. Oh yeah, like, um, I don't know. It felt weird to do that for some of my live splits, because uh, the bar happened to be in, like, a conspicuous place for, what, Shantae and Rayman? For the live splits that I was using, because I was using the girl from Rayman Legends. I was like, hmm. I don't know, I was like, w would it be better with the transparent one? Or would that look like I'm highlighting the area? Or... Is it worse that it's completely barred off and then it looks like it's not a family appropriate image? When it is, it is. And uh, Super Sense Slayer says, but Vanks, don't you want to reset the Nuzlocke if you lose the rival fight? <laughs> you do it all the time in Pokemon Red. No, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. No, sir, I want to win for free. Alright, level 7. I'm missing 4 HP, but at level 7, I think I have the advantage. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include 
Oh, hi, Vinks. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. The pain says, as a kid, I don't understand the different, uh, differentiation? Yeah. Between shiny versus normal, and I'm almost certain I murdered two weird Pokemon except for Metasham. Yeah, rip, man. I mean, that's pretty much effectively what I did. I didn't know there was a shiny Wizmer. I thought it was just a Wizmer. And I beat the game, and I wanted to play through it again, so I deleted my game to replay through it. And I lost my Wizmer. <laughs> Get out of here, dudes. Pre co fitty. Nah, nah, nah. And Glackham says, well, good luck, I gotta get back to work. I think for blind playthroughs, it's better transparent. Eh, yeah, fair enough. I think it depends on, like, what image you're using in the background. Uh, I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. Might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. And I'll see you later, May. So, when do I get the Pokeballs? Do I go back to the town now? Yeah, I think I go back to town. It's been a long time since I've played. Oh, hey, she's right there. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've played this casually. Like, I did do a speedrun of this game, I think, two months ago or something, using a guide. But I was skipping through everything and not reading any of the text. And again, I had a guide that told me what to do and where to go. Have we decided on a list of names? Definitely not. And now Glackham says, it makes sense to not be transparent if it's going to move around. Due to multiple splits? Yeah. Thanks, so we're here. Let's hurry home. Yeah, I completely agree with that, Black, and that makes sense. But with this, it's just blocking your Rayquaza. The split itself doesn't matter since you're just using it as a timer. Yes, yes. I mean, we can see most of the Rayquaza. I mean, if a petition is started and people are like, bring us Rayquaza, free Rayquaza, then I can make it transparent. But only if there's, you know, the outcry. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent! <laughs> That's your daughter, right? Should you say that? She's right next to you. may has been helping with my research for a long time. <laughs> so you're just gonna completely brush over that. That's okay. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Vinks, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out, doing field work, and shows me. Oh wow, Vinks, you got a Pokedex too, that's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Obtain the Pokeballs! Thanks, put away the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Alright, see you later, guys! <laughs> Yo, herbal medicine? Nah, I'm all about that, you know, procedure... Uh, procedurally generated stuff. You know, like them potions. Uh, wait, Vinks. And yo, Control's in here. What's good today? Are you going to get super body? Don't have a super trash Nuzlocke. Hashtag free Rayquaza. <laughs> yeah, I guess people do want to see a freed Rayquaza. Thanks, thanks. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? What an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch? How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. <laughs> Vinks switched shoes with the running shoes. Vinks, those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. And yo, Kudros with the 100 bits. Fighting type Kotru, you know you want it. Alright, if we catch a fighting type Pokemon, we will name it after Catrolius. I got you. It was Zigzagoon or Puchina first. My bet's on Puchina. Because I already ran into two Puchinas. Gotta get one more. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. All right, later, mom. <laughs> please. Uh, Zigzagoon would be a real nice pickup OP. Uh, yes, pickup is pretty good. So here we go, guys. Nuzlocke. First Pokemon we encounter is the one we're gonna catch, and we don't get to get any others in this route. What's what's the name of this route? Route 101. Okay. Here we go! 
And today's Pokemon is... Poochita! Yeah, Blood called it, man. Called it. So did the pain. And yo, Jojo's in here. How are you doing, Jojo? Uh... Absorbs, like... That's a base power 20, isn't it? And then half of that would make it 30 with Stab. Yeah, Pound's 40, so I'm gonna go with Absorb. I'm level 8, it's level 3. I'm a little worried that I'll one hit, but I think this will be fine. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Did you say Elm earlier? You meant Birch? That's all good, man. We were talking to Professor Elm for a while, man, when we were doing uh, the Gold Nuzlocke yesterday. Well, we'd been doing it for like two weeks. Gotcha, Puccina was caught. Alright, what am I gonna name Puccina? It was added to the Pokedex that savagely threatens foes with bared fangs. It chases after fleeing targets tenaciously. It turns tail and runs, however, if the foe strikes back. So, it's not a... Why is it called the Bite Pokemon? It should be the Bark Pokemon. <laughs> like, if it just runs away. You caught the silly puppy, name it Bow Wow? Bow Wow's a good name. Yo, what are we thinking, guys? Bow Wow? Is that good? Yo, Super Sense Slayer, five bits, can you name Puccina after me, yo? Five bits? I don't know, man. Catrolli has set the 100 bit, uh, limit there. I can't just do the five bits. Okay, okay, if it's only five bits, maybe it can be Super Bow? <laughs> that's, that's a good, like, uh, middle ground, right? So it's almost like it's Super Sense Slayer. But not all the way. It's just got Super in the name. That's close enough, right? Super Bow. That's a that's a very silly name. All right, let's heal. All right, so where do I even go? I mean, I know the first gym leader is Roxanne. Oh, I love Roxanne. She is a Rock Ground type Pokemon. And with uh, Trico on her side, we are going to have a very easy time. Vinx is selling out for bits right now. I am always selling out for bits. So guys, if you'd like a Pokemon to be named after you, the minimum donation amount is $1 or 100 bits. If you have bits, you know, you can do that. If you're like, I'm not buying no bits, but I do. Oh, is that a low tag? And this is a different route? And Ludicolo is my favorite Pokemon in the whole world? Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting that, man. Uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm feeling the absorb. I know it's like neutral effective because he's water grass, dude. But uh, yeah, no, let's try Super Bell. Yo, and that growl, man, reducing the attack. So outside of a critical hit, I feel pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that was no damage. I might be going a little overboard in how scared I am and uh, knocking out Pokemon. Yo, low tad. Is my favorite Pokemon species line, man. Lotad, Lombre, Ludicolo. Best Pokemon in the world. Don't crit the Lotad? Yeah, no, I, I think we got this. We're just gonna knock him into the yellow and then we'll start checking the Pokeballs. Hello, Super 2, let's go, Lycan Rock Edition? <laughs> Lycan Rock Edition? Yo, I can dig it. Yo, give to me the Lotad. Give to me. Why sell out? Yo, top tier sellout status, man. It's very important, man. If you gotta support, hashtag support small streamers, man. Uh, this Pokemon lives in ponds with clean water. It is known to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on the uh, broad leaf on its head. All right. What am I gonna name Lotad? Best, best gal? Cause I mean, she's like, she's a girl. She's the best. Name him. Despacito? I don't know what that is. But, it's a she. Uh, so what you're saying is Vinx's spirit animal is Mirror B from Coliseum XD? Maybe. Mirror B is a cool guy, but Ludicolo, man, is, is where it's at. Mirror B? Yeah, we can, we can name Ludicolo Mirror B in honor of a fellow trainer that knows greatness. Wait, isn't it two R's? Or does he- is he not a full mirror? I don't- I don't remember. Like, I- I don't play that game too often. Is it- is it two R's or should it be one R? It is one R? Oh, okay. One R, excuse me. Mirror... B. But she's a girl. 
Hmm. Meh, <laughs> that'll work. He's the female mirror bee. Oops, I didn't mean to walk into the grass a second time. So yeah, like this Fushina, we don't get to catch this one. We already uh have a Pokemon for this route. Not that I would catch the Fushina anyways, because we're running duplicate claws. So if it's a species we've already caught, we don't have to uh, catch that one. So this is Route 102. Uh, I think that's the way we're supposed to go. And yeah, what was that rare Pokemon? Uh, it turns out they were only my own footprints. <laughs> Good job, buddy! And yeah, that's Route 103, so we can catch a Pokemon up there, too. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. One Pokemon, please. Let's get Super Bow over here. Bow, Bow, Bow. Yeah, it's supposed to be Bow Wow, so Super Bow. And yo, Flora Toby saying, all good, all good. Oh, nice to see you, Flora Toby. Hopefully you are doing well. Alright, so this Puccina, again, we already have a Puccina. This one doesn't count, but I will body it, give some uh, experience to our Puccina. Um, I'll pop it out, because it's only level 3 versus level 4. I don't like those odds. You gotta play real careful with the Nuzlocks, man, because it's like... If you're not careful and you get crit, your Pokemon's done, because, uh, okay, so this is how Nuzlocks work. For those of you that don't already know. Um, the first Pokemon I encounter in a route, that's the only Pokemon I'm allowed to catch outside of the Species Claws. So, the Puccina doesn't count. But I only get one Pokemon per route. If my Pokemon faints, it's gone forever. We don't get to use it anymore. There's no revives, there's no healing at the Pokemon Center. If the Pokemon faints, it's gone. Alright. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah, nah, Catrolis has been through some things. Don't mind him. Him and my bots apparently don't get along too well. Another Puccina, huh? Yeah, get out of here. Nemane saying, uh, name it Yamcha the Great. Well, the next one? Yo, Yamcha's not a bad name. It depends, like, what kind of Pokemon we get. Yo, you're, you're asking to be... Uh, asking Automod to, like, take out your message if you put the word hate in it. Automod hates the word hate, which is a little ironic, but it is what it is. Blind? This is not a blind playthrough. People can give me all the tips and hints they want to. Legend saying, what's the rule in carrying around a dead Pokemon with pickup? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> no dead Pokemon. Gosh darn it, this is the third Puccina I've run into. Are there any Pokemon on Route 103 besides Puccina? Like, I haven't even run into a Zigzagoon yet, it's it's only Puccina. Yo, know, Terminator saying, hey, what's up, man? How are you doing good, sir? And yo, know, Toby just saying, hey, yo. Know, we squeezed through, I don't know how you did it. Automod doesn't like the word hate. Yo, I think Automod just likes picking on Catrolius. I think that's all it is. A dead Pokemon go to a dead box in the PC? Yes, yes, definitely. Oh my goodness, another Puccina! That's four Puccinas in a row! How is that even possible? I mean, I'm level four now, so I'll try to fight him. Let's see, what do we got? Hmm... I don't know, it looks like we're doing similar damage to each other. I don't like this, because if he, if he crits me, I'll die. Like, I want the pure experience of not switching to a different Pokémon, but it's like... Because, yeah, this is Generation 3. I believe the way that works is, um... It's just a flat 1 out of 16. Yeah, every 1 out of 16 hits should crit. So, yeah, we gotta be careful about that. But if you want to... <laughs> nah, 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 we're not doing anything like that a pain. That's five Puccinas! That's five Puccinas! Is it, is it only Puccinas? Is Puccina the only Pokemon? Is that too savage for the channel? I mean, it's fine in chat, I just, uh, oh wait, is that a donation? Hold up! Tenth Doctor with the five dollars saying, name your next water Pokemon after me. If it's water, I know you'll do your best to keep it alive. <laughs> Unless it's Surskit, I'll take the one after Surskit. Yo, you got a deal, Tenth Doctor. Yo, thank you very much for the donation, man. 
Yo, Tenth Doctor OP, the five dollar donation, dude. Thank you very much. Yo, nah, I can tell. I can tell. Tenth Doctor might like Generation Three Pokemon. All right, Pooch E in uh? Isn't it just Poochina? Yo, we did it! It's a zigzagoon. Here we go. Here we go. Is Vinx accepting some bribes? I always accept bribes. Bribes are 100% accepted at all times. If you have a bribe, and it's- Oh my goodness! Hold on. <laughs> Hold that thought. Hold that thought. God, jeez, guy. You gotta do all that. Yeah, we're catching the zigzagoon. Alright, there's the growl. Well, as long as I don't crit him, I should be able to catch him. I'll risk it. Alright, yeah, we in there. We in there. One Pokeball, please. Almost a plus one from early grinding. Yo, it happens, man! Yo, them crits can come out of nowhere. Like, I can't tell you the number of Pokemon I've lost just grinding in a Nuzlocke. It's like, eh, they can't deal those so much damage, and they just suddenly deal, like, more than half your HP in one hit. Uh, rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders about back and forth in search of something. It's distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. Did it nickname the Zigzagoon? Yeah, it did, uh, let's see. Tense Doctor wants to be named after a water type, so it's not Tense Doctor. And Controlius wants to be named after a fighting type Pokemon, so it's not Controlius. So, uh, what am I naming him? Ziggy? Or is that too, is that too close? That's Yamcha? Yamcha's a good name. That crit was scary? It was, man. I thought we were done. Think so what happened with the Trico? Why not Water Starter? You scared? Nah, um, I let chat choose my starter this time. Alright, Yamcha, there's the... There's the letters. Later on, encounter Zangus. Name it Zigzagus. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You can do that. Alright, so when do I get the experience share in this game? I know it's uh, a little early. We're not even at the first gym yet, but one experience share, please. Yeah, getting the experience share in Pokemon Gold, like, you don't get that till, like, what, after the sixth gym? But it was it was very useful when I was grinding in Gold. Alright, so we already caught a Pokemon here, but now we get to fight trainers. Uh... We need to get ready to fight Roxanne, and it's- we have a level cap. What's her strongest Pokemon level? Let's see, Roxanne, Bulbapedia, tell me what's what. Yeah, Roxanne, her strongest Pokemon level is an Emerald. Uh, 15, okay, so we got a while. We don't have to worry too much. Um, I think I'll try to level up Mirror B and, uh, Trico. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Troy says Yamcha sounds like he's going to get super bodied by something super weak. Nah, man. Yamcha is going to carry us all the way to the Elite Four. No worries. Obviously. Uh, since Doctor says experience here is early in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but you forget for uh, the originals. Fair enough. The rats of the game is greater than Yamcha? Obviously. Uh, literally, Oris just has it in the forest. The forest? Oh man, I don't remember this game very well. Oh yeah, the forest is right before Roxanne's place, right? <laughs> Did that kid just say you can't say no? Excuse me? I know, right? What if I don't want to have a Pokemon battle? He needs to think about how I feel. Ugh, I lost. I should have trained mine more. But you know what they say, if your eyes meet, you have to have a trainer battle. It's just kind of the rules in the Pokemon world. It's a, it's a different culture. Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. See? I told you. That's the that's the culture, man. If your eyes meet, you can't say no. You got to you got to have a Pokemon battle. Um Amane feels like Yamcha the Zig will do us all proud. Yo, maybe. Maybe. Alright, that's a Bug-type Pokemon. I'm Grass-type. We're gonna get out of there. When did you get the Squirtle Trash Emote? Um, I first got that, I want to say like three, maybe four months ago? Because I didn't plan on getting a Tier 3 Emote, because like, it's a $25 Emote. And I was like, no one's gonna want that. 
But then, uh, Catrolius, he subscribed to me with a tier 3 subscription. I was like, well, I guess I gotta, gotta make it worth his while, right? So, I did the, uh, got the tier 3 emote. And yeah, I, um, commissioned it from Shoujo Milk on, uh, Twitter. Shoujo Milk is a really, really good artist. She does, uh, all sorts of, uh, emote commissions for a lot of popular channels. You should definitely check her out. If you uh, ever, you know, want to uh, pay for a high-quality emo, she's got you, man. Um, that's right, it's on set. Uh, I think I can take one hit. That'll be fine. I want to try to get the experience, so I'll pop him in, pop him back out. Because I don't have shift this time. We were using shift when I was playing my gold Nuzlocke, but I wanted to try set for this one. Because I did set when I did my red Nuzlocke. And, like, if I did it before, I'm sure I can do it again. Ah, Petalburg Woods, that's right, that is what it's called. Forgot the name of the, uh, forest. <laughs> My bad. Thanks, can our eyes meet? <laughs> if you want to, like, uh, what are we doing? Um, Catrolia says, he doesn't care how you feel, Vinks. You are just there to be bodied. No, 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 it's, uh, I think the shoe's on that other foot. You like the trash squirt all, yo. Like, um, I've been using that emote in a few other channels, and people have been saying they really like it. <laughs> oh, dude, I have a Twitter post that takes place right after you talk to this guy. Oh my goodness. I need to see if I can find this Twitter post. You guys gotta see this thing. It's hilarious. It's, uh, it's a Pokemon joke, I guess? Based off of, uh... Nah, I, I don't want to go too into it. I'm just gonna see if I can find the link and show you guys, because it's really funny. I posted it on my profile, like, I think three days ago, maybe four? Let me see if I can find it. I'll toss the link in chat. And yo, Jiglos with 100 bits, also let me get a nickname, the side of Fire Red Mod. Hold the get guide. <laughs> alright, alright, we got you, man, no worries. Oh, wait, wait, here it is, here it is. Alright, where is copy link to tweets? There we go. Alright, yeah, I'll just paste it in chat, yo. Like, if you like Pokemon, man, I'm telling you, it's a very, very funny tweet. You gotta check it out. It's like, it's like 24, it's literally 24 seconds long. Alright, um, so Plum is kind of low on the HPs. We're gonna go ahead and back up a little bit. Heal real quick before the next trainer, you know, destroys us. But yo, thanks again for the 100 bits, J-Globes. I really appreciate it, man. And yeah, uh, Tense Doctor, are you, uh, updating the, uh, Variety Games list for me? Or are you a little preoccupied? Good luck beating the second gym leader? Uh, that's, uh, the fighting guy, right? Namani was saying, I need something, I missed it. I need a Pokemon game to play, you're suffering from Pokemon withdrawal? <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Pokemon Go, the full game will have to do. Oh, you mean Pokemon Let's Go? Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. They should show off more of it on uh, Tuesday at the at E3. I'm hoping, man. All right, Zigzag Goon. I'm sure I can take him. I don't know. Astonish is pretty weak, and it's a physical attack, isn't it? Cause it's a uh, ghost, right? Oh yeah, that's right. It's ghost, so I can't hit him. <laughs> Never mind. I remember that. Totally. Uh, D says, you know what Gen One starter belongs in the trash? Char Bulbasaur? Well, the Squirtle was more a reference to my speedruns. Because I used to reset over and over and over again until I got a good Squirtle, and all other Squirtles were considered trash Squirtles. Like, I literally have a perler of a trash Squirtle. Actually, I should show you guys that, like, you can kind of see it, but let me bring it closer. Yeah, this is my trash Squirtle perler. Like, this has been a meme on my channel for a while, so it had to become an emote. Like, it just makes sense. Come yeah, on, Squirtle. There you go. Oh, you did update it? Thanks, Sense Doctor. I appreciate that. What was that? <laughs> Yo, you saw it, Invisal? You saw the, the link? Oh, man, it's so funny. Oh, you plus five Fury with your vote, Sense Doctor? Alright, alright. I can dig it. I can dig it. And Yo, and Nura's in here. What is up? <laughs> OMG, that stick bug. That was golden. I know, right? Oh, it's so good. Crash Gordle is awesome, it is. Wait, why are we face palming? Why are we face palming, Controlius? Did I did I mess something up? 
I mean, this is still the same route. I didn't knock out a Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, wait, was it when I used the Astonish on the normal type? That was, you know, we make mistakes. Uh, Amani says Chikorita is the best starter ever. Prove me wrong. Okay, uh, Chikorita is a grass starter. Um, grass is, like, the worst type when it comes to competitive Pokemon. It is weak to ice, which a lot of water type Pokemon all run. Water type Pokemon are very popular, like, just because of their typing. They're good against their own weakness in uh, grass, so yeah. Uh, Katrona says, You always mess something up, but that was a while ago, and the Astonish on the normal type. Yep, yep. You prefer the Fire Chicken? Yo, Fire Chicken is pretty good. Like, let's be real. Cyndaquil's the best starter? Yo, look. The best starter is Squirtle, my boy. Then, like, behind Squirtle, like, we've done this. Like, it goes, it goes Squirtle. And then, uh, right behind Squirtle would be, like, what? Uh, Totodile, I think? Yeah, Totodile. Then I would go Piplup. Then Froakie. Then... Yeah, who after Froakie? Mudkip. Then Popplio, then Oshawott. That's the order of starters. Ooh, Orinberries. I will take two of those. Pain says, best starters per gen. Squirt, Send the Mud, Turt, or Chim, Asha, Froki, and the Litten. Yes, those are good Pokemon. How am I doing HP wise? Hmm, I got 15 HP. Yeah, I have to heal. My other Pokemon can't really do anything yet. Not for real. And Katro says, dude, I can't wait for you to play Generations. You'll get bodied picking Squirtle before you finish Route 1. Yeah? Is uh, Generations, like, a really difficult mod or something like that? Like, I don't know anything about it. For the Firefox? Yo, legit, like, I'm all about that water life, but there are some fire starters I really like. Obviously, I love Charmander. Um, I think Finnekin is probably one of the best designs of, like, any starter. I know people are like, oh, XY is such a terrible... Such a terrible generation, but now nah, Finnekin, one of the best designs, man. It's so adorable. And Litten's pretty cute, too. But, uh, I don't know. I think Finnekin's pretty great. Oh, uh, the game might cheat? Oh, man. Why do they gotta do all that? Skull Bash Blastoise greater than all? Yo, Skull Bash is a silly move. I haven't used Skull Bash in a long time, man. Because, I mean, like... In a casual, like, standpoint, like, it's a really good move, because, you know, that's one slot for both a defensive increase and just, you know, bashing someone with your head. It's pretty cool. But, uh, in competitive play, kinda, kinda falls off a bit. The first gym leader's final Pokemon is not its most dangerous one. Yeah? I don't know. I I've played this game a few times as a kid. It was always Nosepass that gave me trouble, never the Geodudes. Like, I don't know. I've always found the Geodudes really easy to take out. That's just me. Alright, Shroomish. Let's try to switch into Mirror B. Cause yeah, like, I have it on set, so I don't get the free switch. So if I want the XP, I gotta take the hit. Which I am okay with doing. Best water starter is Piplup. Piplup is so cute, because it's a penguin, man. Penguins are my favorite animals. I love penguins. My biggest regret going to Australia is the fact that I did not see any of the penguins there. Because so I hear they have these, uh, I think they're called like fairy penguins or something like that, and they're really, really tiny and cute. But I missed out. Missed out, man. Um, let's see. Moni says, my favorite starter list from Gen 1 up. Uh, Bulba, Chick uh, Chikorita, Trico, Turtwig, Snivy, Chespin, Rollit. I mean, like, Bulbasaur is one of the three Kanto starters, so, like, you can't really choose wrong as long as it's one of those three. Um, Chikorita apparently is more popular than I realized. You're the second person to say Chikorita now, I believe. So that's interesting. I didn't know multiple people like Chikorita. Um, Trico, again, you know, he was one of Ash's Pokemon. He was looking super cool in the anime, though I, I didn't really watch the show at that point, but I still saw snippets of it. And I liked the atmosphere that Ash's Trico gave off. 
Um, Turtwig is a really good return to, like, I don't know, like an old school Pokemon design, so I like Turtwig. Um, Snivy is very smug. I like how smug Snivy looks. I can't, I can't get behind Chespin, though. Me and Chespin, man, we are just not friends. And then, uh, Roll It, Roll It's cute as well. Like, yeah, no, nah, honestly, there isn't a grass starter I don't like. I prefer the water starters, just because that's how I am. I prefer water Pokemon in general. Oh, it's my dad. Hmm, well, if it isn't Vix, you're all finished moving in? Surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see, you're with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Vix. That's great news. Be looking forward to it. Now, Katros was saying, no, I'm talking about generations. Uh, Vinx in the first Pokemon for the first gym. Oh, got you. Um, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, you're, uh, oh, right, you're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Burden Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I, I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Vinx, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Oh, wow, thank you. Thanks, would you really come with me? I don't have a choice. <laughs> um, Super Sense Slayer's playing a gold Nuzlocke alongside watching the stream. Yo, good luck with your Nuzlocke, dude. Uh, where are you at so far? Like, uh, how many gym badges you got? Thanks, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Wow! I didn't judge your list? Oh, I didn't see your list, Anura. Uh, Anura said... Squirtle, Cyndaquil, Mudkip, Chimchar, Oshawott, Froakie, Popplio. Alright. I'll take Popplio, because it's a water starter. But, I will admit Popplio is like... Yeah, Popplio and Oshawott, like, go back and forth on which one's my least favorite water starter. Like, I don't like their design. So I like Primarina, I don't like Popplio. Uh, Breon, it depends on, like, how I feel on that day. Like, how touchy I am. Uh, Froki is really, really good. Chimchar is cute, but I mean, like, within his own generation, man, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, his final, his final evolution is pretty cool, but the base form, I don't know so much. Mudkip, obviously. Squirtle, obviously. And, like, yeah, no, nah, all the Johto starters are good, except for... <laughs> I lied, I spoke way too soon. I meant to say Totodile and Cyndaquil. Like, you really can't go wrong with either of those answers. Uh, I did it! It's my- it's my Pokémon! Thanks, thank you, let's go back to the gym. You watch the Spyro demo? Yo, there's a Spyro demo? When did that happen? Thank you, yes. Uh, it did. Here's your Pokémon back. Thanks, thanks, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokémon, I promise I'll take really good care of it. My mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Later, buddy. Cyndaquil greater than Chikorita? Very true. Shiny Ralts? Nah. <laughs> Thanks. if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Banks. Only after you become stronger. Okie dokie. No gym badges yet, Super Sense Slayer? Okay. Um, is this a new Nuzlocke? Because I remember you saying you were starting a gold Nuzlocke while I was doing my gold Nuzlocke. And I think you said that that wasn't yesterday. That was like the week before, right? Or do I misremember? Or maybe you hadn't started but wanted to start? And that paints as whoa, whoa. If we're talking cuteness, Squirtle Squad, Toda, Torchic, Piplup, Oshawott, Finnegan, Litten. Alright, if in pure cuteness, I agree with every single one of those. Except for Oshawott. I can't do Oshawott, man. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, you're a Pokemon trainer. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. Either a rookie trainer, or maybe just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I don't remember that. Who's that guy? Why is he so rude? Alright, so we get to catch a new Pokemon for the route, guys. What Pokemon do you think we're going to catch? What, what route is this? Route 104? Alright. So this is Species Clause, though, so if we get a duplicate, we'll just do something else. We currently have Lotad, Puchina, and uh, Zigzagoon. 
So let's see what we can get, man. Am I trying to speedrun a Nuzlocke? Nah, I just want to know how long it takes me. Alright, Wurmple, <laughs> this is where it's at. This is where it's at. Dupliina? Nah, not quite. M Meryl would have been cool. Would have loved a Meryl. And uh, Super Sun Slayer says not nah, the same one. I just haven't gotten far in it since. Been preparing for the Arcadian. Yep, yep, that makes sense. No worries, Super Sun Slayer. Oshawott with the freckles. <sighs> I can't get behind Oshawott, man. I just, I can't do it. And uh, Payne says, Asha Asha is the cutie Gen 5, his little freckles, and a razor shell. I mean... He doesn't have the greatest competition. I'm not huge in the Tepig. Wait. Okay, there we go. I'm not huge in the Tepig. And, um... Like, I like, uh, Turtwig. Because, yeah, Turtwig's the Gen 5 one, right? Or was it Snivy? You yeah, know, Turtwig's Gen 4. Snivy's Gen 5. And Snivy's more cool than cute, I think. But, eh. It sticks the tree branches and eats leaves. The thread it spits from its mouth, which becomes gooey when it touches air, slows the movement of its foes. What am I naming this Wurmple, guys? Let me know. Uh, Super Sensor says Lotad being available early on and Scott showing up in the game are some changes made in Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, because I remember Lotad being first available on Route 104, not Route 102. Um, Anura says, how about this best water type of all water types? <laughs> Lantern? Yo, Lantern's really good, but the best water type of all water types is Ludicolo, followed by Gyarados. Uh, Caterpie? <laughs> bird food? Weedle? I'm gonna go with bird food, that's the funniest one. <laughs> Wait, no, butter free? That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going with that one. Yo, it's butter free, guys. Oh wait, now I have to do it like this. Only so many letters. The <laughs> butter free. Uh, let's see. Are you a trainer? How's my HP looking? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Ah, right, fish up a tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. Alright, let's see what the tough Pokemon is, guys. What did he fish up? It's got a magical quality. It's Magikarp. <laughs> How's that tough? How's it magical? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, Magikarp's worth some XP, right? I mean, he's level nine, so that's higher level than me. It's gotta be something. Is surfing in a route uh, count as the same for encounters? Yes. For me, the way I do it, um, if it's a wild encounter, that's just that counts for that route. But if it's um, an event Pokemon, like say it's just standing out there, like Pseudo Wudo or Gyarados, or it's a Pokemon someone gives to you, like uh, Eevee, I don't count those as being in the area. They're their own unique thing. Magikarp shall be called Splashikarp. Eh, he can do what he wants. And, uh, let's see. The pain saying, how is it magical? Have you seen the episode with James in this golden Pokeball? Gyarados wrecked the ship? Yeah, yeah, but no, that's, uh, because he evolved out of rage, didn't he? Wasn't that what happened? I don't remember a golden Pokeball. I just remember the Magikarp being very angry. He wasn't doing a good job taking care of that ma uh, Magikarp at all. What the... Hey, Magikarp, you sure don't live up to your name, do you? <laughs> sea, huh? I know what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Well, we find out because we get HM Dive! Good foreshadowing, NPC. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. No, uh, Blood and Gore says Gift Claws. Gift Pokemon such as Togepi and Gold and Silver may be used. Yeah, pretty much that. I didn't realize I had its own rule set or whatever. But apparently. And uh, Legend says, what's the over and under on Banks finding a Feebas on his first run through <laughs> whichever route that is? Zero percent. It took me so long to find Feebas in my like casual playthrough as a kid, man. And that's like with a guide and devoted time to getting the Feebas, man. Like I was getting that Feebas. 
This is not happening. I'll probably just catch, like, I don't know, a, a Bweezel or something. And now, Super Sense Slayer says, in the anime, Ash's group and Team Rocket escape the ship and end up on a raft. With nothing much to eat, they consider eating Magikarp. Since Meowth tried and lost his teeth trying to eat it, James kicked Magikarp. Because of that, Magikarp evolved and bodied them. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, no, man, it's all coming back to me. Because I, I watched that episode as a kid. So silly. Alright, that's C Dot. Does he have anything that can, like, hit me? Because, uh, he's a grass type like I am. Uh oh, gross. No, I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that! Yeah, I'm grass water, man. I take a neutral. Double growth. Yo, he said up on me, man. Is this CDOT about to, like, try to sweep my team? Into bide. Interesting. I'm not- I'm not hitting into that. We're gonna leer. We will treat him like he is Onyx. We will just leer through the bide. Every time you rock smash, you never got an encounter? Yeah, rip, man. Alright, yeah, there we go. No bides from this guy. Oh, those are those are his only moves. Growth and bide? <laughs> I was getting so worried, man. I was like, he's gonna, gonna absorb my poor little Lotad with these growths. Nah, we're good. Yeah, that's definitely something you should know for a Nuzlocke. In my opinion, it's pretty important to know, like, everyone's movesets. But, nah, I just, I don't know all the Pokemon, man. Not an Emerald, it's been way too long. I played through Emerald once, Sapphire, like, twice as a kid. But, like, I just don't know. I don't remember. I mean, I know their typings, I just, I don't know what their movesets are. Oh, I missed something you said, J-Globes? You said A, but don't count that Rock Smash north of the third gym. Oh, okay. I don't know, I'd, uh... Yeah, Rock Smashes I would count as being a wild encounter. I wouldn't count a Rock Smash as an event. Alright. Going down, Puccina. How many Pokémon do you think I need to take on Roxanne? I mean, I figure, like, I could just beat her with Trico, but, like, I don't want to do, like, what I do in, like, Pokemon Red, right? Where it's like, yeah, I only need this one Pokemon for the gym leader, and then, like, I end up getting, like, crit or something, and then I need to switch to something, and I have no Pokemon to switch to, so she just, like, partially sweeps my team. But yeah, no, nah, it's Rock Ground, Rock Ground, and Rock Tight. So I imagine I'd be able to one-hit the Geodudes with Absorb. It would probably take a couple of hits to knock down Nosepass. This Trico? Yeah, I, I could probably do it with Trico. I'm, just, I'm a little worried about Nosepass. He scares me. And get some potions? Well, that's the thing. This is a no-potion playthrough. Like, I'll use potions in between fights, but not during. If Nosepass locks, uh, knocks uh, Trico down to low health, he dies. Uh, we must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Like, yeah, those are my only options. My Pokemon goes low HP, I can switch to another Pokemon, or I can die. Those are the options. No healing in battle. Alright. Yeah, the idea is to make it, you know, a lot harder than how it would be in a completely casual playthrough. So I have to, like, really think about these fights and come up with the best choices ahead of time. That's the idea. And then, you know, it comes down to execution, if uh, I get crit or I'm missing attacks, you know, I have to, you know, adapt to the situation, work with what you got. Never mind, over-level over -level Trico. Well, again, there's also a level cap clause. I'm not allowed to be higher than level 15. But I don't know, I think if I get to level 15 with Trico, I could probably do it. I just give him some more XP, but I've kind of been giving it all to Mirror B at the moment. A full restore? Are you serious? Yeah, we're fighting on, what is this? Like, 
the baby route. At least I got a crit. Who wants to use a full restore? Gym leaders don't use full restores. What, what was that? <laughs> full restore from the rich kids? I know, right? Oh, that's dumb, man. Rich trainers tend to use healing items. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Did you know that Brock in Pokemon Red will use a full heal if you burn him? Like, I didn't know about that for so long. I was re-watching my Red Nuzlocke and I saw him do it. I had no idea he had an item. I had no idea. Never seen him use an item. But yeah, he has a full heal. Not a full restore, but a full heal. Alright, I think I will switch to Trico. We'll go ahead and use him for a bit. Oh, we get to catch a Pokemon for Petalburg Woods! But first... Ah, <laughs> there's some berries over here, isn't there? Or no, just an item? A Pokeball. Alright, oh yeah, I need to buy more Pokeballs. You're a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go buy some Pokeballs real quick, I forgot about that. I'm pretty low on Pokeballs. Alright. I'll take... Mm, 20. 20 will do it. And then I'll, I'll take a couple of potions. Again, these are only for use in between battles, not during. Another one has a full restore too? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, since I'm here, I might as well hit up the Pokemon Center. And now Super Sense Slayer says it's so rare- oh yeah, I already read that. Uh, Wurmple? That's what you got? I mean, I already have the Wurmple. Is that the only Pokemon that shows up in the forest? Because I have the Species Claws, so... I don't have to catch a second Wurmple, but if it's the only Pokemon that's there, I'll go ahead and catch it. Uh oh. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon team! Yo, what level does Lotad learn Water Gun? But I imagine Water Gun would be quite a bit more powerful than Absorb. <laughs> Surskit is in the woods? Yo, we might get Surskit, we'll see. Yo, that is a low level Pokemon. I was, uh,. Kind of expecting something a little bit stronger from a trainer. But yeah, if it's really weak, let me try to get one of these guys in here. Let's do, yeah, Butterfree. That Breloom thing? Yeah, Shroomish, right? Shroomish? Be down. Ah, huh, interesting. Rumble doesn't know Poison Sting. Maybe it learns that at a higher level? We can get C dot. Oh, are both C dot and Lotad in this game? Cause I know they're version exclusive in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> yeah, he just has a mess of Wurmples, huh? Ah, come on. Okay, it can do two damage. The crit should be four. Yeah, as long as it string shots a lot, I should win this fight. Yeah, I don't know all the Pokemon encounters for Emerald. Cause Sapphire is the one I played the most. I don't, I don't really know Emerald's encounters. I mean, I assume it's similar, but that's that's all I got. You got C dot too? Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Whatever's up is up. <laughs> oh yeah, check his Let's Play has the encounter rates. Yeah, when I'm looking up encounter rates, I normally go to. Uh, Either Bulbapedia, or I'll go to Cerebi. I think Bulbapedia is a bit cleaner when it comes to encounter rates. They're both good. Some site? Yeah, I'd say Bulbapedia is a good one. Yeah, you could just like Google Bulbapedia C dot, and yeah, it'll show you. Or you could uh, Bulbapedia Petalburg Forest, I guess, and it'll show you the whole place. You can click on Pokemon and it'll show you the encounter rates for this generation, for each different version and stuff. It's it's very, very good. A lot of detail. Ooh, that did three damage. 
Yeah, I can't, I can't take that. You knock me on the next hit. Gosh darn it. All you had to do was not do that much damage. Therapy used to be better? Yeah, I used to use Therapy a lot of the time, but it's just, it's a bit overcrowded and not, um, I don't know, I feel like it's not formatted very well. It's not clean to look at, not like Bulbapedia is. I use both sites. Like, I usually use Bulbapedia for, like, encounter rates and movesets that certain trainers have, and then for Serebi, I go for, uh, movesets. Because, like, Bulbapedia has the movesets too, it's just, there's so much information there where it's, like, very clear-cut on Serebi. At least in that regard. can't stand Bulbapedia, there's just so much text everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of text on Bulbapedia. That's fair. It's just, I feel like it's formatted really well, so I'll generally go to Bulbapedia, because like, it has all those hyperlinks as well at the very top, so it'll be like, yeah, I want to see what Pokemon uh, Claire has in like, Pokemon Gold, and I'll just click on Pokemon, and it'll take me straight down to that part, and I can see the exact information I want. Versus if, say, I want to look up a Pokemon's moveset, in a specific uh, generation, I'll type in like Gyarados GS, and then I'll be able to see Gyarados on Cerebi on uh, Gold and Silver specifically. And yeah, this Pokemon doesn't count as our encounter because we already have a Puccino. You never used anything for a Nuzlocke? Ah, that's fair, man. You don't have to do anything. If you got all the information in your head, you're good to go. But yeah, I haven't played this in forever, man. Yeah, what up, guy? Not a one to be found. Hello, have you found any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? Got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? We've got to help me, please. Oh, what do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who chooses or crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. All right. If you insist. Um. Yeah, no, I can't switch to one of the other Pokemon. The Poochie is level nine. They'll take too much damage. Very slim chance of a Slackhoff Talo. Yeah, we'll we'll get something. Goodbye, Puccina. <laughs> Bye. Yo, a Palm grew to level 11. Learned Quick Attack. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think we want to level up Lotad more. I'm pretty sure he learned Water Gun soon. Ugh, got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. Wish you could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Ooh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. No, I will give you a great ball as my thanks. Didn't that Team Aqua thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Uh, are you a trainer? No. Yo, there! Your Pokemon doing okay? Your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you just stay out of the tall grass. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I'll switch over to, uh, Lotad. I want that water gun. Now, uh, Tentoc, you're saying Petalburg, wor uh, Petalburg Woods encounters for Emerald. 25% Wurmple, 30% Puccina, 15 Shroomish, and 10 for each Cocoon, 5 for Bird, 5 for Sloth. Alright. You don't remember him learning Water Gun? I'm pretty sure he does. Pretty sure. I want to say he learns Water Gun at either like a level 11 or level 12. Something like that. Ow. That, uh, that hurts. Can I win this? I, I don't know, because like, it's super effective. But I also can heal myself as well. 
and he's choosing Scratch. He doesn't have good AI. We can totally win this. Not even using super effective attacks. Get out of here, Ninkata! Get out of here. Guy doesn't know how to... Doesn't know how to Pokemon. No, a second one, huh? It'll give me the XP. Oh, C dots uh, Route 102, 17, 20 in uh, Rustboro City. All right. You know, Absorb was the best you had until Bullet Seed. Yeah, Bullet Seed's on the uh, route right above here, isn't it? Pretty sure. And you know, Mad Saint, how's it going, man? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, we beat our Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. We got up to the Elite Four. Uh, we had a little bit of a uh, little bit of a struggle there on uh, Lance. Those Dragonites, man. Those Dragonites are crazy. But yeah, my Jinx, dude. My Jinx just she outsped all of them, and that uh, Ice Fist was just too much. Too much. Super Sense Slayer says Lotad doesn't get Water Gun. He does get Bubble Beam. I could have sworn he got Water Gun. Yeah, Bubble Beam. That that can't be till like much later level. Huh. I have to I have to figure that out. I mean, I don't think I'll be growing any berries, but I really don't want to not have the watering can. So if she could give that to me, that would be cool. Yeah, I could I could see me like growing berries in between streams, maybe. Or wait, does she not give me the watering can? Is it you? Oh, a Chesso Berry. Oh, we'll be at level 30-something? Oh, man, that's forever from now. There it is. There's the Wellmer Pale. And oh, Caillou's in here. Also, is that a Pokemon XD reference I see? Oh, <laughs> were we doing a Pokemon XD reference? We might have. I don't know. Yo, know, Pokemon XD and Coliseum are great games. And uh, Mad Saint, just working on setting up my live split. Any tips? Uh, not really. Live split's pretty uh, easy. It's a pretty cool program. Like, just play around with it. You'll figure it all out. Doesn't do anything crazy. All right, yeah. Let's just absorb. Oh, the Mirror B. That's right. I forgot about the name. Yeah, because he's he's in both Coliseum and XD, isn't he? I was just thinking of him as uh, Coliseum. Yeah. Mirabee's, he's good people. Good people. Yo, let it go, Zigzagoon. Yeah, now I have to look up this level... Uh, what you call it? Level moveset? Yeah, there we go. Uh, low tad. Red. Or no, Ruby. Sapphire. Emerald. Yeah, here we go. Now he learns nature power at 13. Jeez. And yeah, no, I don't even see Bubble Beam on here. I could have sworn he learned Bubble Beam. Yeah, nature power. That's not going to be too good. Oh, I didn't pick up Bullet Seed, did I? I should go back and grab that, huh? Oh, uh, when did I upgrade to a DX Racer Chair? Oh, this chair? I got that, um, it was a gift. It was a birthday gift. So that would have been in April. And yeah, it's a very comfortable chair. I like it quite a bit. 24 Bubble Beam after level up. Oh, do you mean when he evolves? Let me see. Yeah, good old Lombre. What do you got going on, Lombre? Yeah, Lombre doesn't do Bubble Beam either. He learns Fake Out. There's that. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at the Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Coliseum, XD, Level Up, Learn Set. Yeah, he learns Mega Drain at 43. I drop him at 49, it's Lombre. Yeah, I'll probably just have him evolve. I don't think I'll have him stick to being uh, low tad. I don't see the point. I mean, he gets Rain Dance? I. Cause yeah, Lombre doesn't learn Rain Dance, but I don't think we need Rain Dance. I think that's, uh... Actually, it depends. What is my ability? What ability do we have? Do we have Swift Slim? We have Swift Slim. <coughs> Might need that. Um, nah, I have Rain Dish. I don't like Rain Dish as much. 
Like, it's okay. I think Swift Swim's way better. Yo, level 12! Yeah, I'll probably use Trico for the fight instead of Lotad, I think. Yep, Lotad. Yeah, his specials. Not gonna be quite as high as Trico's. Yeah, let me grab that uh, bullet seed. I meant to grab that. That's you, isn't it? Obtain TM09. Ruby is Gen 3, right? Yes, that is correct. And Bubble Beam's the most recent gen? Yeah, there we go. Might as well get Tentacle if I can. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. They didn't do that in Johto. I fought those twins, man. I mean, technically they fought together, but they only sent out one Pokemon at a time. Yeah, I love double battles, man. Double battles are life. I wish more games were like that. Let's go ahead and move Quick Attack to the top. Oops. I don't think CDOT knows anything at level 6. It only had Bide, I think. Oh no, it's an Astonish! I'm so astonished, what do I do? Alright, so he's using Bide. Um, I'm a little worried that I'll accidentally knock myself out, so I'm not gonna target him. Alright, there goes Lotad. No, let's see, what are we saying? Glad to see that I chose the best starter? I let- I let chat decide. Chat got to decide what we were gonna do. Cause, um, I normally choose Mudkip. Mudkip's my preferred starter for Gen 2. Unleashed energy! <laughs> but I failed! Nice try, buddy, nice try. Pokemon took a leap from Game Boy Color to GBA? Sure did, man. And, uh, Wilmud was saying, they can be okay, I'm not looking forward to your first party battle. Like, crying for help and such. Huh? What do you mean? Crying for help? Are you talking about Sun and Moon? Alright, two Cherry Berries. And two Leopard Berries. Uh, Cherry Berries, the one that cures sleep, right? See, Berries... You should pick them, got it. Ooh, a Chesto Berry. No, Chesto Berry is the sleep one. What's a Cherry Berry? Why well, keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh, you don't know me? <laughs> nah, never heard of you, guy. I've heard of Misty. Ah, just a bunch of Magikarps. Yeah, let's switch to uh, Trico. Give him the XP. Uh, Cherry's Paralysis. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Oh, the Horde Battles? Yeah, I remember the Horde Battles. That was, uh, X and Y, right? What do I think of Triple Battles? I... I don't know. Like, um, I was very willing to, like, experiment with Triple Battles during, uh, X and Y. Like, I definitely gave it a shot because I love Double Battles so much. But the game lagged really, really bad during Triple Battles, it was really, really slow, so I couldn't really get into it. But I love doubles. Doubles is so much more balanced, like, you can just throw, like, whatever two Pokémon out there, and it's so much more likely to not be ridiculous, like it is in singles. In singles, you throw a Pokémon out there, if it gets a little bit of a head start, it could, like, just sweep the whole team. It's a lot harder to sweep the whole team in doubles, when you have two Pokémon that can both deal with whatever that threat is. Yeah, triples was just too slow. I imagine it could be good, I just, I, I don't know. Don't know. Okay, let's uh, switch Trico back to the starting. Oh, hey, hey, look! <laughs> we got something with pickup, what do we got? What do we got? A potion? Alright, alright, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, I didn't notice Zigzagoon had an item. I wasn't paying attention to that. But yo, now we got what we got. Triple battle started in Gen 5? Yeah, yeah, and the rotation battle. I tried them in Gen 5 too, but like I didn't have anyone to play with. 
Versus in uh, Gen 6, I was online like all the time, and you could just play people online in uh, triple battles, I believe. And I tried it, and it was just so laggy, I just couldn't do it. And like, I don't just mean like the internet connection, but like the game itself, like the frame rate just tanks. It's really bad. Um, I don't think I want to do the gym just yet. I think we can do the event up here first, right? I can catch a Pokemon up here too, so let's do that. Yeah, one for Route 115. Or wait, no, you don't catch any Pokemon yet. You have to come back from a different side. Got yeah, a Super Potion though. Rotation battles are interesting. Yeah, I tried rotation battles. I'm not as into it. I think it takes a lot of the strategy out and becomes more of a guessing game. Because I mean, like, Pokemon's always a guessing game. Because, like, you can just switch normally. But to be able to switch and not have to pay anything for it, I think is just too strong, in my opinion. Uh, Control says, Ari Vink's going to crush Misty and Generations. Wish me luck. Yo, do it, man. Yo, body Misty, I believe in you. Let me know how that goes. Bun saying dual battles is fun to set up a Shedinja and troll the other guy. Yo, Shedinja? That's the, uh, yeah, that's the one that just has certain weaknesses. It's a very gimmicky Pokemon. Like, Shedinja has never been a problem for me, personally. But, like, if you just happen to not have any types that are super effective against him, then, like, you're gonna have some trouble. But he's really gimmicky. Like, he's not really that good. Like, playing against Shed Ninja is the same kind of, like, you know, strategy as, like, playing against uh, someone that uses nothing but sheer cold. Right? Like, you're just relying on luck, right? Like, with Shed Ninja, you're relying on them to not have the Pokemon that knock him out. And with Sheer Cold, you're just relying on it to hit that 30% chance. Um, also don't rematch your rival now. Guaranteed death? I don't know where my rival is, but don't you have to fight the gym first? I, I don't know where that's at. I have no idea. I don't remember. No, KG says, I don't think you can jig lives. I think they only show up after you beat Roxanne. Yeah, that's, that's what I remembered. Oh, Whisper! This is our encounter, man. What are we, what are we, what are we doing here? Um, found, I guess? You spawn in front of the Mart after you beat Roxanne? Okay. Alright, um... I don't want to risk critting it. I have a lot of Pokeballs. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. See what we get. Hey, there we go. Alright, what am I naming this Wizmer, guys? What are we gonna name it? Um, it cries equal a jet plane in volume. <laughs> it inhales through its ear canals. Because of this system, it can cry continually without having to catch its breath. Interesting. The nickname to the captured Wizmer? Yes. I will name it... Uh, hmm, screams as loud as a jet. Jet scream? Yeah, jet scream. <laughs> Lost shiny? No, 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 we don't have to do all that. Uh, letters, there it is. Alright. Yeah, what up, buddy? Yeah, the idea is we'll get Trico up to level 15, and with that, I think we'll just be able to body the uh, gym leader. But let's look up uh, our rival. The rival Emerald. Um, Wurmple? Yeah, I'll just click attack. Got rival and Emerald. Yeah, there we go. May. Show me second battle. You want to load? There it is. Um, wait, no, there's no way she has a Whelmer this early. Are you serious? Oh, wait, that's Ruby and Sapphire. What about Emerald? They're a different section? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the second battle's optional. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's mad different. She has um, Lotad and Trico. Or, not Trico, Torchic. Oh, whoops, what's going on? <laughs> that hurts. Transformers confirmed? Yo, got you. Uh... I feel like I can win this. We'll just heal off of him. He's not gonna use... Oh, critical hit. <laughs> that works! That works. 
And then Jacob says, wait, never mind. I got critted by Trico. You have good luck, so you're fine. Ha! <laughs> Yo, we'll see about that. We'll see. So that Torchic. How am I going to beat the Torchic? Yeah, Torchic's level 15. Um, it'll body Trico. Mirror B can get in there, but I don't have any strong attacks to use. It has higher stats than I do. Um, I could level up one of my other guys, use them instead. Yeah, we're gonna need... We're gonna need some Pokemons. We're gonna beat that Torchic. Woman says, almost beat all the levels in Pokemon Quest, so now you're aiming for Shinies? Yo, nice, man! Yeah, I'm still way off on that. I'm, uh... Oh yeah, just use Quick Attack. Yeah, I'm starting like 7, 8, and 9, I think, the those worlds, but I can't finish the boss fights on any of them. They're just way too high level. And <laughs> yo, Crackers with the trumpets? Yo, gotta have the trumpets, man, it's important. And Caillou says, I mean, she's optional, so you don't... Uh, so if you don't want to grind until you get the experience share, you can just avoid her for now. I could avoid her. Uh, when do you get the experience share in this game? Did Banks lose a shiny? Uh, when I was younger, I did. I caught it, but I didn't realize how worthwhile it was, and I ended up deleting that save and starting a new one. That was forever ago, and it was a Wismer. Misty bodied, you were prepared, and didn't get busted? Nice, man. Yo, Misty scares me because of how tough she is in the speedrun for Pokemon Red. Because it's like those bubble beams, dude. It can just do three quarters of your max HP. And also there's a 10% chance that she'll reduce your speed, and if she does, that's GG. You just lose. You get it before the second gym? Okay, okay. Before the second gym. Do I get it from Steven? Is Steven the guy that gives it to me, or do I have to do something with Steven? And then that unlocks the experience share? Effects for it? Yeah, it happens. Do I have anything? Yeah, I have a uh, Cure Paralysis. Yep, the Cherry Berry. Wait, no, I don't want to look at it. I want to use it. And go ahead and heal this guy so we don't have to walk all the way back to the center. Yeah, I know it says no potions. But yeah, no, nah, we're not using potions in battle. But they are okay to use outside of battle. Uh, Controlly says I got super lucky. She nearly bodied your two grass Pokemon. One was at 5 HP and the other just survived? Yo, that sounds pretty intense, man. Yeah, I go into fighting uh, Misty with a ground type, and you're going in with grass types and nearly getting bodied. That's pretty intense. Hmm, is she just like really high level, or is she like also a cheater? What's up with that, man? Why is she bodying the grass types? I mean, I know how that is in like Pokemon Sun and Moon, right? Because like, I was using all water type Pokemon in my Moon playthrough, and I went into the Fire Trial, and I'm like, man, this is going to be so easy. And I'm doing the Totem Pokemon, right? Salazzle, and it would bring in Salandit, or whichever one is the other. I, I don't actually know which one's Salazzle, which one's Salandit. But, like, one of them would use, like, Toxic, I think, and the other one would use the other one that, like, reduces all your stats. And so, like, I wasn't doing any damage to this Fire-type Pokémon, even though my attacks were super effective. I mean, it did help that it was a Poison-type, and Poison is super effective on Fairy, which Primarina was, but... Even then, like, I had a team full of Water-types. You thought I would have been able to take that fight a lot easier. But no, I'm pretty sure... I think I whited out or blacked out? I don't remember what they say in Sun and Moon. Yeah, I think I lost the Totem Battle the first time. Yeah, I remember the Fire Trial and the Water Trial giving me a lot of trouble in uh, Pokemon Moon. Trolley says, I'm not sure if she cheats as much, she's just prepared for some of the grass types she can have. He happened to just not knock one out? Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, I don't have any antidotes. Do I have a uh, Pekka Berry? Yeah, Pekka Berry, let's- No, I don't want to look at it! I like to use it, come on now. You have Moon? Yeah, I have Pokemon Moon. Yeah, I got the uh, shiny Zygarde on it recently. Why'd they switch it to Whited Out? I don't know. Blacked Out, Whited Out. 
it's the same thing. Like, blacked out makes more sense, because that's a phrase that means you were knocked out. Like, you blacked out as in, like, your eyes closed and, you know, it's going all black, you don't see anything anymore. Whited out only makes sense in the context of it's the opposite of the color black. <laughs> like, I don't know, I've never heard the phrase whited out before or Pokemon. I don't know. You got me, man. Yo, it's a Nugget Bridge? Yo, Nugget Bridge, man. Nugget Bridge is very nostalgic. I love how, like, Nugget Bridge looks in, uh, Let's Go po uh, Pikachu. Yeah, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. It looks really nice. Though, again, I'm, like, super biased because it's, like, super nostalgic for me. I love the Cancer region. Uh, is it normal for it to be dark in the morning? Uh, it depends where you live. Can be. Alright, so we're level 14 now. Roxanne is level 15. That's the max level. So I want to swap off a of Trico after I hit level 15. I don't want to be overleveled for the gym leader. Alright, yeah, there we go. So yeah, we have to switch here. We'll switch to Mirror B. When all your Pokemon faint, you do too? I guess? <laughs> that seems to be what they imply. So the main character has asthma. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe that's what's going on, man. All their Pokemon get knocked out and they have an asthma attack. Yo. You gotta, you gotta take care of yourselves, man. Keep your inhaler on you at all times. Calm down, relax. Just a Pokemon battle, it's not that serious. I wanna dig that tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to dig tunnels. Oh, what's this? Oh, next special. No, uh, we'll maintain my current quest teams, Machoke, Wigglytuff, and Alakazam. And Wiggly's OP with Mega Punch. Yo, yeah, nice, man. Yeah, I'm currently running uh, Poliwrath, uh, Blastoise, and Onyx. And yeah, Onyx has been doing most of the heavy lifting. Rock Throw, man, is just so good. Let's see, yeah, switch those two. Let's go ahead and save. Not that, like, I will need to save, I don't think, but just to be on the safe side. Oh, to be on the double safe side. Let's go ahead and give an Orenberry to uh, Lotad. Yeah, I have one of those, right? Yeah, we have six of those. Easy peasy. I don't remember how strong the guy is here. Oh, here we go. This could be an encounter. What do we got? A Wismer. We already have a Wismer, so I'm not going to catch this. Tro says, I prefer the imagery of being mugged by a wild Pokemon. It's funny to me. I mean, those Meowth got to get their coins from somewhere, right? Because when they use Payday, that money, there's it can't just be coming out of nowhere. Clearly... Meowth has an organized, like, Pokemon gang thing going on. If a wild Pokemon knocks you out, they take half your money. Like, yeah, I only take half. Now get out of here. It's my territory. <laughs> Ow. That was very painful. Aren't there only Wismer in the cave? Oh yeah, there might only be Wismer in the cave. Might be right about that. Eh, is what it is. I don't really want to catch a Wismer regardless. There's only Wismer, I'll, I'll just take a pass. I will take a pass! Oh my goodness, what are these encounters right now? Oh, yep, Wismer is the only one? Okay. Yeah, I, I did not remember that. But, um, what are we saying? The champ and bulk up? Yeah, uh, bulk up! And you can get one of those, uh, stones, right? So, like, Everyone gets that status effect. Is that the same as Pokemon? Increased attack, increased defense? Yo, why do these Whismers hurt so bad? It's just a level 7 Pokemon, but like, this really hurts. Yeah, hmm. If it crits me again, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna switch to Trico. I wanted to just give him the XP, man, but these Wismers hurt really bad. Oh, not Trico. Lotad, man, you gotta... You gotta find some defense, dude. They're just wrecking the poor kid.
Oh wait, I thought the guy was here. I thought I walked all the way to the right and then like a Team Aqua person showed up. Or no, that's not till after you fight the gym. That's what it is. I haven't fought the gym yet. Okay, okay. That's fine. Well, let's go fight the gym. Yeah, I should probably level up one of my other guys. Oh, why couldn't I have gotten Nincada? Oh, that would have been so good. Would have been so good. Go get out of here, Nincada. Oh, because I could have had a Ninjask? I would have loved to do a playthrough with a Ninjask. But no. You just get Wismer, because we totally need another normal type Pokemon. Yeah, I think I'll level up Kuchina? Yeah, Kuchina should be good. That's a dark type Pokemon. That'll be useful somewhere. Ah! <laughs> We've learned nature power. Alright, let's go ahead and swap a... Uchina or Super Bow to the front. Yeah, we should get our PP back to the center and then go to the gym. Woman saying, I forgot all about Team Aqua. You thought I was uh, talking about <laughs> Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Yeah, not exactly. And Caillou says it probably triggered because the last alphanumeric character before the hit was S. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, Jay Globe says, also, I just got the ride pager or something, but all you want to know is when do you get a car? <laughs> you got me. Yo, what up, kid? Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Uh-huh. Go ahead and show me. What are we, what are we doing? Alright, got you, dude. Alright, so we show the super... Uh, bow, and then we switch to Mirror B. Hopefully can take a hit, like he's level 13. Okay, there's a tackle. Yeah, now we're good. Then we should be able to heal that with the Absorb. Yo, critical hit too. He <laughs> didn't stand a chance. Who needs bikes or Taurus? Yo, man, I don't know, right? No, no, Taurus was pretty cool. Yo, Super Bow, learn hell! Too good for him. Alright, now let's fight this kid over here. Oh, do I have to fight him too? You can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Oh, I have to fight both of them. You might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Interesting. A double battle. Well, this is all experience for, uh, old boy Puccina, just, uh,. <laughs> I didn't expect to have to do this. Oh, a plum? Oh yeah, that's right. He's in the second slot. Oh, I don't have Growl either. Um, yeah, no, let's not risk it. Let's just switch. Go on the safe side. Well, actually, no, no, no. I can risk it because I can knock out one of those Pokemon in one hit. I just Howl, I guess, and absorb a Geodude. Yeah, I'm only going to be hit by one of them. I highly doubt I'll knock out Super Bow in one hit. Seventy-three, level six. It's so weird how in Gen three for doubles they send in the new Pokemon like as soon as they are fainted instead of waiting till the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they wait till the end of the turn in the other generations, don't they? And then like if you are targeting that second slot, it just goes to the other Pokemon. Night Dio dude. And again the beauty of fighting two different trainers instead of it actually being one trainer with four Pokemon. That trainer is done. He has no more Pokemon left. So now we can 2v1. Don't waste your time on Puccina? I don't know. I, I think Puccina is a better bet because it's like I don't have a lot of good Pokemon to choose from. I can only level up my Wurmple. Yeah, my choices are Wurmple, Puccina, or what, Zigzagoon? Oh, and Wismer. 
So, like, I got a bunch of not really good Pokemon. So, out of all of them, I thought Puccino was, like, the best bet to level up. Like, behind him, I think uh, the Wurmple would be good, but even then, the Wurmple doesn't have the best stats in the world. And Jacob's saying, yep, started on Gen 4. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Goodbye, Geo dude. Catch you later, man. How you says in the whole point of a Nuzlocke is to use Pokemon that you would never usually use? Yeah, it is what it is. It's like normally, like personally myself, I usually play just all water types. That's how I normally play. I always do a mono water in Pokemon. So like these are all like new to me. I don't normally use Puccina, I don't use Trico. Lotad, I do use Lotad. Ludicolo is my favorite Pokemon in the world. But I happen to get him in the Nuzlocke, so we're totally keeping that. I don't use Exagoon. Uh, I don't use Wurmple. I've obviously evolved them for Pokedex entries, and I would never use Wismer. But here we are! This this is the team we have, so it is what it is. Um, let's see, how are we doing HP-wise? Yeah, everybody's full. I feel like I could go in with Puccina on the level 12 Geodude. I think that'll be okay. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. You kindly kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon. Okie dokie! Will we be gone before the third gym? What, Puccina? Ah, we'll see, we'll see. It could be. Alright, level 12 Geodude. Not scared. Just gonna swap into Mirror B. Come back, Super Bow, that's enough! Defense Curl! Oh no! What am I gonna do? Oh, I know, Absorb! How different is Ruby from Sapphire? Eh, they're practically the same games. You know, just they have the Team Magma instead of Team Aqua. Ow! 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 That hurt really bad! Why that hurt so bad? That did what? How much damage was that? That was 17 damage? Yeah, if he crits me, I die. And my speed's dropped. I'm just gonna switch. I... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm way too scared. Ah, and she's gonna potion. Yeah, now we should be able to one-hit him just fine. Yeah, we have higher special than Lotad does. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same games. Just like, if you've only played Sapphire, then every time they say Aqua, pretend they're saying Magma. Every time they say, uh, Water, pretend they say Land. And bam! Or, you know, Sea, anything that's water-based, just replace that word with Land. You've played both games. Super scared you? Definitely scared. Alright, so we did end up out leveling the gym leader, but it was in the middle of the gym leader fight, so that's fine. Alright, pursuits. Um Yeah, I don't need Leer. Alright, let's do it. Bring it on, lady. Bring it on. Oh man, Rock Tomb hurts so bad. Yo, I did like no damage! Oh, I should've put an Orin Berry on Trico. I'm s is this it? Is this GG? Yeah, this looks a lot like GG. It wasn't supposed to be this hard. I don't know, I'll, I'll sacrifice a Pokemon. I sure will. I mean, I heal. I heal from Absorb. So... Am I not allowed to train over? Yeah, that's one of my rules. Ah, ha, ha. I was at 33, wasn't I? Oh, and it has a berry great. Oh, man. I was at 33, so that did what? 17 damage? Yeah, it can knock me on the next hit, and it's faster than me. In come the sacrifices! <laughs> Goodbye, Yamcha! Goodbye, Yamcha. Goodbye! <laughs> Yeah, no, this nose pass is hitting way harder than what I expected, dude. Alright, so I'm faster than he is again. Or should be, anyways. So I should live through this rock tomb. 
as long as it doesn't crit me. Or Yamcha, yo, Yamcha had to go. Oh my goodness, don't crit me. 4 HP! Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna live through the next one, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna live through the next one. Um, okay, let's let's think about this. He will probably Yeah, let's see. What what are our defenses here? Yeah, I have 18, you have 13. Alright, yeah, he can he can one hit either of these Pokemon. I mean Mirror B maybe can live through if it gets an absorb in. Maybe it could hit twice, perhaps. I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, let's send in Jet Scream. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sack another Pokemon to get Lotad in there. I think that's the Oh he gets she gets two potions! It's done! It's done, dude! She gets two potions? I didn't know she got two potions! There's no way I can win! There's no way! I had a chance for a second, I thought! I thought I had a chance! I thought I had a chance! I have no chance! She gets to heal with two potions! I thought she only got one! Oh, he's faster than me by default. That's dead. I thought I was faster. Yeah, this is a dead run, boys. Dead run, boys! Dead Nuzlocke! At the first gym leader! At the first gym leader! Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. No. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yo, all this time I thought, like, the grass starter would be such a good choice against Roxanne. I had no idea, man. Cause, like, as a kid, I would either level up Torchic into Combuskin for the double kick, or I would just play Mudkip. I usually would use Mudkip, and Mudkip would just Water Gun, and you would knock him out in just a couple hits, man. But these Absorbs with their base power 20, dude. It's nothing! Nothing, man. It's all over. It's all over, dude. I mean... Jeez. How was I supposed to win? I mean, like, I could have given an Ornberry to both Lotad and Trico. I could have done that, but like, I didn't think it would do that much damage and have two potions. Like, everything that I thought existed was wrong. Everything I thought was wrong. All of it. All of it, man. Alright. <laughs> Alright, where's the reset button, man? The run died. Rest in peace. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep the timer going. Last time I reset every time I was playing the game. Or starting a new game, but not this time. I'll I'll just keep it. That's not how I wanted it to go. <laughs> That's not how I wanted it to go.